Judy. She is an orphan from a very horrible orphan home. It is a classic bug. And hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome, epic, classical book for you guys today. Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster herself, Puffin Classics, and well, let's get right on to it. So, this book is about a girl named Judy, and she is from, as I told you, a very horrible orphan's home where she has to, well, wipe babies' faces and sue. It sucks, basically. And then a patron of the of the orphanage or home or whatever, it's more like a jail to be honest with you, well, she, he basically gives her a scholarship, kind of like she pays her to go to college because she feels like that she would be able to make an incredible author. So, well, yeah, that is great. And she goes to college. And it's epic. I mean, it's a girls' college. There's a lot of other girls, and it's just great all around. And she is training to become an author, and she learns everything. But she's required to write letters to this person who sent her to college, and he isn't even telling her his name, which is ridiculous in my opinion. But you know, we gotta deal with it. And Judy decided decided to. Um, affectionately name him, the, his, her patron, because she did get a glimpse of him with very long legs, so she decided to call him Daddy Long Legs, which is hilarious. And then this book is, well, only the first chapter maybe is just the normal, normal kind of book, and then it's in the form of letters, which is great. And yeah. It says, for example, Dear Daddy Long Legs, blah, 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 then from Judy or something like that. And it's in the form of very classical letters because it is a very classical book, but you know, it is great. And she never loses her wit. She's always so funny and she's also witty. And the way she says, says things is just ridiculously funny. And it's just a really good book to read, I feel like. You could just go through everything, and yeah, I read this in an hour and a half. It's not like a very thick book to read, but it was incredibly enjoyable for a realistic fiction. But you know, I mean, even though I like fantasy, as I told you guys, I love historical fiction, realistic fiction, mystery, and science fiction, and all of that stuff. And yeah, she's very smart. I feel like she picks up like these thing, the this thing, and since she was at orphanage. She really feels like she's learning something, and she's really glad for that. And many of us don't really feel like that, like, you know, let's finish this as fast as possible and play video games, like, or in my case, play video games or read a good fantasy book. It's, you know, we all have that. But Judy, she never had a chance, and she thinks that everyone else is taking for granted everything they're happy, and since they're always so happy, they're totally blind and deaf to that feeling of happiness. Which, to be honest with you, makes sense. It's kind of, kind of poked me in the heart because, you know, there's a lot of people who live in orphanage and we're being all lucky and stuff, but we're complaining about schoolwork. It's, it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but, you know, you know, in a couple of days I'll forget about it, to be honest with you, but I'll try to remember. And it's just that this book is written in letter style and that, I've just said this like a thousand times. It is literally so witty. I'll just read one letter. Um, okay. And she's always, always humorous. This is not my favorite letter or anything. I just open a random page. Dearest Daddy Long Legs, I've had some awful, awful, awful news to tell you, but I won't begin with it. I'll try to get you in a good humor first. Jerusha Abbott has commenced to be an author. A poem entitled From My Tower appears in the February. Monthly, on the first page, which is a great honor for a freshman. My English instructor stopped me on the way out from chapel last night and said it was a charming piece of work except for the sixth line, which had too many feet. And will send you a copy in case you care to read it. Let me see if I can't think of something else present. Oh yes, I'm learning to skate and can glide about quite respectably all by myself. 
I'm not gonna read the whole thing. But the thing is, my point is that she writes like she talks, and it has such a distinctive voice, which we all know and start to enjoy. And it is a great book. It is kind of a page turner in that final mystery about who is Daddy Longlegs. Well, it will it will throw you off your feet. To be honest, with you, I guessed it a little bit. So my two guesses were number one, Daddy Longlegs is the actual parent of Judy. It's kind of unlikely, but you know it, it will be a good twist in the story. And my second guess was that Jervy Jervy Pendleton would be the actual, you know, Daddy Longlegs. Because they seem to have such a same piece of humor, and what I what I feel what I felt like was that Daddy Longlegs had the same amount of humor as Judy, and Jervy was basically the only one with humor and was old enough to be Daddy Longlegs. And I was right; he was literally Daddy Longlegs. It is an extremely good book with a pretty good twist. If I had been the author, I might have even you know put in a couple more kinks and twists, like done, done, done. But you know. It is a great book, and like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Read some books in quarantine.